Yes, yes. And uh, it's a funny, interesting piece, beautiful. It's funny that you mentioned this tune because uh, I want to play it uh, next um, September in Kankal. We have the Pivra by the sea. Yes, and, beer, uh, right. and I'm going to play there. And, and my choice, I wanted to play uh, Red Hector of the Battle, the, the long tune, and Donald de Golmakai. <laughs> Very, very good. Hey. And then, by hey, the way, see all your run, see all your run about Kankal. Hey, just tell the viewers about Kankal briefly. What the the, the setup is there? Oh yes, yes. Well, Kankal is a, an idea of Jacques Pincé, who he lives in Kankal, and he thought that it would be a nice idea to uh, to make people discover that beautiful music, Pibra, to associate this music with lovely landscapes. And Concal is a beautiful place of Brittany, uh, facing the Mont Saint Michel in the background. And so every year we have that meeting of pipers. It's not a competition; it's free, open to anyone, only people, of course. And it's on on a Sunday morning. Then we we all go down to the beach, and we play by the seaside in the afternoon. Where we have a, a nice. Uh, uh, meal together with uh, seafood and oysters. <laughs> yes. And, and there's no judges. It's just a concert of young and old players. Because uh, until two or three, four years ago, we had Jimmy McIntosh himself. Yes. Came all the way from America and he was 92 at the time, I think. And he played there a couple of pibrochs. And there was an old man also from, from Holland, the 75, came all the way from Holland with, with friends, and they had the kilt on, and all the gear, you know. Aye. And we have players from all over Brittany and from different parts of France, from Paris, from, and we have more and more success. We've had a few uh, Scotsmen, like uh, we had Dr. Landis McDonald, we had Jack Taylor, uh, by the way, this year Jack is coming back, and we will be running together, myself and Jack, the, the um, workshop, the Pibroch workshop, on the Good. Saturday afternoon. So Saturday afternoon, Pibroch workshop, and on Sunday the meeting by the seaside. So, so how many you. people? Uh, um, how many people typically in the past uh, turned up to play a Pibroch at Kankal? Uh, 20 or 15, or what was the sort of number? I think last year we had about almost uh, 45 pirates. My goodness. 20, uh, 20 in the morning and uh, 25 in the afternoon. Uh, and, and compositions, not only the classical uh, stuff, but some people play their own compositions. Uh -huh. uh, Jacques, in particular, Jacques Pincé, he composes a lot, and so he composes uh, his own pibrochs, which which are influenced by Breton music. And you have uh, compositions from America, and uh, but mostly it's the traditional stuff with all the big tunes, you know. And Good. it attracts a big crowd. Well, not thousands, but hundreds, I would say of people who have absolutely no idea of what a pibroch is and even what a set of pipes is. But they find it so magical that they just stay and listen, mouth open like it is. And, oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And uh, the, the audiences say, in France are a tremendous. I, I, I played pibroch across there and they, they give you a very good listen and uh, they're very quiet and attentive and uh, they applaud very politely once you're finished, which is nice <laughs> also. Uh, but you don't get anybody getting up and walking out. Uh, I, I once watched uh, Alan McDonald doing a lunchtime recital piping live many years ago. Uh, that's the week before the Worlds at the National Piping Centre. And he was playing Flame of Wrath for a uh, squinting fashion. Yeah. And, and uh, playing at 100 miles an hour, as uh, Alan always does, you know. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And there was two women sitting in the back row with their knitting. And they folded up their knitting after the first uh, line of the pea brook and walked out. <laughs> 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 but that so that's, is, Gun is, Carroll, 